Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold. the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. Ah, okay. So I am live right now on twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson. Always be plugging. It has come to my attention that there is yet another virtual influencer like we talked about last time. We talked about the metaverse influencer polar that was from the creators of Five Minute Crafts. And it was just brought to my attention that Capitol Records signs virtual robot rapper FN Mecca. And we gotta look into this. He looks like Bane Eight Flowrider. <laughs> no, no, Flowrider's bald. Listen to Speed Demon, a trap track created by a robot rapper. Me and Travis XX are the only two rappers in the game with Tesla trucks. Oh, damn, that got 15 likes. He's killing the game. And he's got a cyber truck. Come on. Oh, no, he's flexing his. Oh, no. Oh, my good lord. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he's flexing that he's got a cyber truck and it's like, it's, it's got a, it's got a wrap. It, he's got fancy rims on it. You know, none of us have a cyber truck. He is moonwalking around as most rappers do. Oh, new single for moonwalking out now. Okay. So it must be that he, he must be moonwalking for his song moonwalking. I have to learn more about FN Mecca. How many followers does he have on TikTok? 10 Point five million followers. Robot rapper not accepted by this world. Dude, why does every fucking virtual influencer musician have a chip on their shoulder about not being a real person? It seems a little contrived, right? Seems a little trite. Uh, like maybe you could have some other motivation <laughs> other than like not being a real person. Ew. I mean, Okay, I just am having trouble parsing what his mouth is. Like, it looks like there's three rows of teeth, you know what I mean? And there's like the golden chin <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, he's also a robot, which I don't know if I already said that, but isn't it kind of like redundant, you know, to call him a robot rapper if he's like literally not real? I guess he could be a virtual robot. So like a robot in the sense of like, he's a mechanical virtual thing i don't know man this is <laughs> this is too much what color is your bugatti what do you mean <laughs> is that an andrew tate reference what color is your bugatti what color is your bugatti clearly fn mecca is a student of hustlers university we hate andrew tate by the way not a fan not a fan bad man bad man so what color is your your bugatti it's coming out of a an airplane hanger so it's also an airplane have to mention that have to mention that um <laughs> so it's an airplane what color is your bugatti also is it a plane <laughs> that is the question is the color that it is airplane colored <laughs> is it an airplane colored bugatti also this got 25 million views oh my god i'm nervous what i'm gonna learn oh and he's doing collabs with real people yo what's up guys i'm in brooklyn check out this view holy shit it's a battle bus it's a battle bus like from Oh my god, the battle bus from Fortnite? <laughs> Yo, is that FN Mecca from Fortnite? Oh my god, wait, with Gunna and Click. Hold on. What? I'm so confused. Oh, it is a collaboration featuring Gunna. Ah! <laughs> what is happening, dude? Capital Record Science AI powered virtual rapper. In what way is he AI powered? Hopefully, this explains something about that. FN Mecca, a robot rapper powered by artificial intelligence. You can't just say this. Like, that doesn't necessarily. Like, in what way is that true? I don't know how he's a robot canonically. And. I also do not know in what way he is AI. It's like if you called a character from like Toy Story a robot AI. Those are just words. The new signing was reported in Music Business Worldwide last week, the same day Evan Mecca dropped his first single for the label, a song called Florida Water that also features real life rapper. Now they have to, now you have to clarify who's real. Real life rapper Gunna and gaming streamer Clicks. Clicks, we saw. This is Clicks. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm in Brooklyn. Check out this view. Is that Evan Mecca? <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me this this kid, this kid is on a track 
back with Gunna now? That doesn't feel allowed. Gunna's like in jail right now, right? Resave my song with Gunna in bio. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> who allowed this? Who allowed this to happen? And who is clicks? Who is clicks? Junior's procrastinating right now. But I I'm going to the airport. I'll catch y'all on the way. Peace. This is a child. Fortnite esports wiki. He's 17? He's a 17 year old child named Cody Conrad. What? This, none of this feels real. I'm not here to clown the child. Okay, by the way, he's 17. I'm not, I'm not here to clown the kid, okay? But like, hear me out. I'm confused is the thing. So I have no problem with this kid. I'm just confused as to why he has a song with Gunna and where that came from and why that came from. I'm watching this because I feel like it's going to give me some ins. Because he's he's like, I made a song with Gunna. Not, I made a song with Effin Mecca. I'm not rapping. Like, I would understand if I'm rapping, you guys want to put out nukes. I'm not a rapper. So I'm basically producing the song. That's why I partnered up with Slipstream and Capital to get my own artist like Gunna. He produced the song? I'm so confused. Like Gunna and Mecca to make my own song. He's not rapping on the song. So he's, he's saying... He came up with everything. Kind of like start on the watch, pull back. I want you to like push up some faders and then look up at the monitor. And then I'll like pull Alright, now pretend you did something for the song before we put your name on it. Yo, is this what being white is like? <laughs> Then it's like, hey, pretend you did some work. Hey, you're, you're, you're a feature. You're a feature. You did it, kid. You're in the big time. Make the, make the volume go up. But no, for real, what is this? What did this kid do? What did he do? What is, why is his name on it? I believe the track is out now. So let's Florida water. Is this Gunna's official channel? No way. No, it's not. Okay. Wait, okay. Let's just go to F and Mecca. I need to, does he not have a, come on. Okay. Well, let's watch this genius video. AI has been used to create actual rap songs. And in one instance, <laughs> is he always rap. moonwalking? <laughs> is that his only move? Enter FN Mecca. FM Mecca is a virtual human. Okay. So a year ago, he had 9.5 million followers. So he's gained 500K in a year and a half. That doesn't inspire confidence. In 2019, it released two songs. Internet. Here we go again. Another nigga talking on a fucking. Okay. I don't know how I feel about the robot saying the N word. I don't know how I feel about that. This is not written by an AI. Chilling with the AIs in the Scooby van. Chilling with the gang. No way in hell did an AI write that line. I don't believe it. Absolutely not. Feel like Hang Hill when I raise the body. I don't see no niggas like we play hot hockey. I'm, yeah, it does. It does. You know, if I'm listening to like a real rapper, inward doesn't even register. You know what I mean? But here, I'm like, hold on. Okay, who's uh, this? Kind of just feels like somebody uh, created an AI to get around saying the N word. But it was its branding as the first robot rapper that really made me ask questions. Like, is it a robot rapper? And I do not think the answer is yes. I do not think the answer is yes. Who is the voice behind FM Mecca? Who are the people controlling FM Mecca? Yes, please tell me. She only let me because she know that I'm famous, so she left a skirt in my whip. Yeah, so speak. That's a white man. Eater, eater. That's a white guy. First real foray into AI, like music creation. Oh, that was the first foray. So before when the N word was being said, that wasn't an AI. <laughs> Wait, what? In my mission to find Mecca's true creators, I landed on Anthony Martini. He's part of Factory New, Mecca's record label. If I was behind the first AI robot rapper and the, that robot was saying the N word all the time, there, I would have a black man front and center to be like, oh yeah, that he's with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not Anthony Martini. All these worlds are sort of separated, right? You have like the virtual world, you have video game world, you have human world, all that. At some point, it's all going to be blurred anyway. Dude, people say this shit like they, they think they figured something out. It's like, it's just right now we've got the AI, we've got the human world and we've got the video game world. But what if like together 
What if together they have them, though? He even had me speak with someone who supposedly was FN Mecca. I was created by Factory New, and I was a code of hearts at a Belize to just rap. Dude, that's not an... Oh my god. Oh my god. That is not an AI. That's just a man. And we try and mimic uh, music that's popular in the current culture. Wait, so that's the guy <laughs> who's saying, another nigga talking on the fucking internet, buddy big mad because his bitch gave me neck. That's his voice? But a big man comes again. His bitch came in neck. <laughs> He's involved in the creation of Mecca's record label, Factory New. He hails from Salt Lake City, Utah, the same location where FM Mecca claims as its home database. <laughs> Good lord. His home database? This will never not be corny. You're not from Salt Lake City, Utah. <laughs> You're a computer. Uh, this is so weird. Uh, <laughs> why are we doing this? I only sponsor FN Mecca with my NFT brand, RTFKT Studios. Jesus Christ. It's a rapper who's sponsored by an NFT brand. In it, he responds to a commenter asking a question about FN Mecca by saying, quote, He's created in my brother's lab. Chris Lee's brother's name is Brandon. Dude, I'm seeing a, not, a lot of not black people. Chris Lee's brother's name is Brandon, and he also goes by Gun Junkie. <laughs> he goes by Gun... Dude, I fucking love people's uh, monikers, their handles online. Because you can look like this guy, and you're like, Gun... I'll, let's go with Gun Junkie. <laughs> That's Dudley Neville Spencer of the Virtual Influencer Agency. He works with brands to craft virtual humans and is currently involved in creating a code of ethics for brands who manage these characters. Ooh, just the code of the code of ethics decide who gets the inward pass <laughs> it is this white dude get to decide it's the cgi which makes it you know creating the airpod rifle and all that kind of stuff that that is that's a that's a that's very clever because that's that's new that's interesting and they're cultural touchstones which that age group are going to be very very interested in yo i took a computing ethics class back in college in uh you know, this slipped the curriculum. We didn't we didn't have this discussion. It's really important. If it's an avatar of a real human, you need to know who that human is. Because if you have avatars of 50-year-old men pretending to be 12-year-old girls, that's a big problem. Oh, he's on to something. He's on to something. Brandon confirmed that he's in fact the creative FN Mecca. Okay, so Brandon Lee did create it. Lee said, quote, the people behind FN Mecca wish to stay somewhat behind the scenes because Mecca receives a lot of hate mail, death threats, etc. And they're not black. <laughs> As for the voice behind Mecca's two earliest songs, Lee says it was Kyle the Hooligan. Genius made content. Okay, but he didn't write the songs. It doesn't matter if uh, there's a black dude rapping the, the words, by the way. It's it's more about the like uh, minstrelsy of kind of having a character that presents as black and kind of takes part in this culture. And then it being like, people who are not actually a part of that culture, like sort of posing through the avatar. You know what I mean? Culture vulture AI, exactly. This guy did a great, a great video though. I just want to give a quick shout out to Jacques Morel who made the genius video that I reacted to. I DM'd him during the stream and he actually got back to me when I got offline saying that um, Kyle the Hooligan, who he mentioned in his video was behind the first couple of songs. And uh, if he recalls correctly, they stop saying the N word. So that's the word on the street. That's what we hope. So FN Mecca is a robot rapper, quote unquote. He's not really a robot. He's not really a rapper. He's like some VFX guys created a character and are paying someone to rap the songs. And uh, there's little to no AI happening. FN Mecca has a song now with Gunna and Fortnite streamer Clicks whose involvement is confusing. <laughs> it appears that he has no involvement in the song, but he's there. His name is on the his name is on the song. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much where we're at. Let's watch some F and Mecca TikToks now. I actually do want to hear this song. The song is two minutes and fifty seconds long. Chorus, verse, chorus, Moneybag Yo. Wait, Moneybag Yo, this is the original song. It's a remix. Okay, so we listen to the song. I mean, it's just it's just a ghost writer, ghost performer, but the rapper doesn't get the actual exposure F and Mecca does, right? It's just a good old fashioned AI scam, exactly. It's just not really an AI. And you know what? You know what it is? The reason it has 10 million followers on TikTok, to the credit of the people producing it, they have, you know, skills to make these interesting visuals, right? While the voice behind Mecca is very much human, yeah, 
everything about everything other is otherwise based based on ai i don't buy it i don't buy it a freaking hundred year old record company is never going to ask somebody to show their work when it comes to this and also what does based on even mean you generate a bunch of like fragments song fragments and line fragments with ai and you place them into a song that's just an ai helper how is that any different than when i send an email and gmail auto completes to like you know have a good day you know it's like i think it's just inspiration yeah they're just saying it for the press and doing the bare minimum and make it not technically a lie that is almost 100 true because why would you do more than that <laughs> you know what i mean they're low-key playing semantics with whether or not it's ai agreed or whether or not it's a robot what does that even mean this music exec doesn't know the the technology behind this ai is a great buzzword it's not really an ai it's just a guy rapping in a 3d 3d avatar oh the song is old clicks just bought it to make it royalty free that makes sense and he probably didn't buy it with like he probably partnered in it but that makes sense yeah so basically he just paid money and then and then the song is now royalty free yeah clicks is a producer in the sense that he's giving them a platform he's a producer in the sense that a movie producer makes the movie you know what i mean versus just like spends money okay 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 mech about to dunk with the jetpack but hold on let me put in some adam first damn look at that boy go Woo! You know, like videos like this, like they're very talented at what they do. It's like literally these types of videos and then a, a side business as, you know, you're outsourcing, you're like fivering a rapper to do the rapping while you're doing the animation. The only question I have is why they got to make it to the internet. That's what I'm saying. That's what it's like. They, you, you didn't have to do this. What a DJ wrist watch. <laughs> Like, of course, this account has 10 million followers on TikTok. You mean to tell me that these people went into a meeting with Capitol Records, showed them the number on their TikTok account, and they were like, that must all be from music. You've got a you've got a following. Or is this like when an influencer has a huge following and then shows up in a movie? You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's like that. Oh my God, and it's got a bored ape. I can't, I can't. If this was just this account, I, you know, there's not a big problem. I mean, there's a small problem. There's a few small problems, but. Shout out to this dope fan art right here. If you love anime, you recognize one of these characters, let me know, drop a comment below. Is that supposed to be his voice? Cause it's a different voice than that gave the interview last year. All right, y'all gotta see this, okay? I never seen nothing like it. We take this piece of ice, right? Throw it in here. All right, we're gonna push this down. Just let it sit for just a second. But guys, I'm telling you, this is crazy, all right? So that's supposed to be his voice. It just doesn't match. Yeah, it sounds like, yeah, one of the FX dudes. Boom, you lift the thing up, baby Goku. Like, I can appreciate the work that goes into this. It feels like just viral thing after viral thing. You know, it's like, okay, okay, um, it's gonna be, it's like, what are the top big things right now? Supreme, Fortnite, Among Us, AirPods. And it's like, okay, let's just do, let's do a video where you're dropping out of the Fortnite bus and you've got an AirPod shotgun and you're shooting in Among Us and you're wearing Supreme and he's wearing Supreme. You know what I mean? It's like, it's so inauthentic. It feels like keyword, if keyword stuffing were a TikTok, you know, like when you watch, <laughs> you know, back when uh, Elsa Gate was going on and it would be like Spider-Man, Elsa pregnant, finger family, nursery rhymes for kids, you know, it'd be like that's it just is it's like everything all at what everything everywhere all at once what was that meme it was uh the guy who's at the theater and he's gonna see everything everywhere all at once and he calls it everything all the time <laughs> i'm low-key lit they didn't give me two drinks i'm supposed to be watching everything all at once all at the same time everywhere <laughs> um oh it gets me every time <laughs> everything all at once at the same time everywhere <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yo, we got the AI robot influencers doing fucking thirst traps. Oh my God, this is brilliant. You can just 
do any fucking sponsored content. You could just map, just like freaking put any brand on anything. This is this is One PS5 Starbucks edition though, and it makes coffee. <laughs> what? <sighs> I was afraid he was going to shoot them. This is really good stuff. Obviously, they're very talented. It's just like, you know, you were supposed to be the chosen one. So he has three songs. Is that he has three or four songs and a TikTok account where he doesn't do music and he has a record deal? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that what I'm understanding right now? Like, I think I don't think this will be successful. I mean, like, it'll be it's successful in its own way. You know, of course. Wait, so Spotify. I'm sorry. 400,000 monthly. Holy shit. He's more popular than Polar. His song with Gunna and Clicks has 800K. That just doesn't feel real to me. Oh, this is maybe the worst sentence I've ever read. Top Fortnite streamer Cody Clicks Conrad tapped the hottest rapper in the streets and the hottest rapper in the metaverse to drop what might be the song of the summer in Florida water. Everything is wrong with this sentence. Like literally everything is wrong. It's not even true. The song Florida water already existed. After dealing with DMCA strikes in the past, Clicks was motivated to put together a track that all creators can use worry-free on their content. After dealing with DMCA, he decided to make one song that saved everything dude as a creator as a creator i've been dealing with all these dmca strikes and now i have one song that i can use forever no more dmca so wild to me that this fortnite streamer is involved well i'll be so uh th thus is the tale of effin mecca ai rapper an ai robot rapper those are just words okay it's just a it's just an avatar and a ghost rapper too many humans are involved and <laughs> also he says the n-word too much but thanks for joining me today on jarvis johnson gold stay gold everybody